I'm going to show you how to spruce up your podcast artwork, your episode art, and also your YouTube thumbnails using Adobe Photoshop Beta. It's not often you see me inside Photoshop, but I just thought this is so cool. I have to show you this on my channel. So here I am. This is where we'd start to create a thumbnail. Now in the beta version, they've got this fantastic guide that does everything for you. So I'm not a power user of Photoshop, but it tells me select subject. Oh yes, that's something I want to do. Look at that. It selects me. It's brilliant. Now, if I want, I can actually go to invert the selection. So I'm selecting the background and then do generative fill. So let's make this, well, let's leave it blank and see what it generates. Now that is absolutely insane. Look at that. It's placed me somewhere in a funky, cool, lit up street or industrial area. I've got three options I can go through. So uh, that one looks kind of like an office, a bit weird. Uh, and this one is, is generally quite good. If I want to get more specific, I can actually give it a prompt like, I don't know, um, rainbow background. Let's see what comes up for that. Okay, now we're getting more specific. Look at that. That's quite nice. Oh, I like that. And that also works. Let's uh, go in one more time and say uh, Radio Studio, because of course that's what I do. We can change the original Radio Studio that I had to something different. I quite like that. That's not too bad. It's even got me holding a microphone. That is a clever use of generative fill. And of course, there I am in front of a microphone with a ton of racks. That looks very me. Um, now, obviously, I can go back to any variation I designed. It pops up over here in the right-hand side. So if I quite like that initial rainbow, we can go with that. It's giving me a nice little quiff there at the front as well that I didn't have. And if I want to go back to the original, I can just get rid of this because it creates what's called a generative layer. And there we go. We're back to the original. So this is looking quite cool. Now I can actually select parts of the image using this lasso tool. OK, uh, so I can maybe lasso around my hair like like so. And let's go even crazier with this. Let's say generative fill, 80s rock star hair. Let's see what comes up. Really not sure about that first option. This looks quite cool though. Option number three has me looking a little bit nutty, like I've got a uh, toupee on, right? Uh, and then I can select around what I'm wearing here and maybe give myself something different to wear uh, because that would be fun as well for the purposes of this example thumbnail. So let's lasso that. Generative fill, leather jacket. Let's put me in a leather jacket. Do you know what? That's looking pretty smart. I can change the jacket style. Uh, oh, a <laughs> bit too much chest going on there, I think. Let's go back to version one. <laughs> Do you know what? That's pretty slick. And then if I want, I can go ahead and obviously I can color grade this to my heart's content to make it look really awesome. What else could I do? Let's think about this. I know, let's give myself a long, dark, mature beard. So uh, this is, you know, I've always dreamt of growing a really big beard that would make me look like a, a proper rocker. Let's highlight around there. Generative film, dark, mature, beard. Oh, and put the word long in as well. Dark, mature, long beard. Let's see what comes up. This feature is absolutely awesome. I look pretty mean, don't I? I look different. Let's look at the variations. Yeah, a little bit of gray going on in that. Uh, that's interesting, but uh, my favorite is definitely number one. And there we have the start of a YouTube thumbnail that I could use on an 80s rock star style tutorial, right? Generative Fill, it's available in Adobe Photoshop Beta, and I'm sure it will come to the main app very soon as well. Have fun with it and let me know how you get on as well in the comments down below.